So come on, watch one. Anyway, what are you saying, Michael? Watch one of the different when you get back now. Well, on the, on the, uh, the drinking establishment, the Tiki Hut. Uh, I think we shall have, uh, well, we'll have two cocktail waitresses, obviously. They'll be uh, standing in for the Glamour Queen. Bunny girls. Bunny girls, we'll have. <laughs> so, them soffits are going to be finished off. Well, I'm not a betting man. The faces, yeah. I, yeah bet. I bet you are, though. <laughs> I have a bet that that's not changed one iota when I get back next week. An iota? <laughs> that's a big word for, for a Monday. Uh, you might have been one of them chairs about. <laughs> I might have done. I'll change it for a commode so I don't have to use toilet and <laughs> take even more advantage. Um, <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is them faces, soffits, all the edging, and the beading's going to go on here. Mick, here. Oh, with them cracks, eh? And that's all going to be the sage colour, same as your face. And you fit in a windscreen while <laughs> I'll be fitting one of them guillotines for if, if an hand reaches across, it goes, chops their hands off. Um, but ne not next week, but probably the week after. I might need your assistance actually because we've got the special things coming now. You know, we're going to be off grid and all that. Fully off grid and self sufficient. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be probably not next weekend, but then the weekend after that. Rubber gloves and well this time then, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For <laughs> the immense power yeah, we're going to be drawing. Adios, amigos. Adios, Miguel. Have a good time. Where are you going to Scotland? Back to the wilderness. The wilderness, right. Yeah, fetch us a couple of waggies back if you can shoot some. All right. Mother Earth's here today. I'm meant to get this chopping this She's time. all tanned. Yeah, we'll get it in. Right, can I get it in there when I'm filming? <laughs> we'll do it in two shakes of a lamb's tail. That's lamb's tail, though. That's not, that's Mer's tail, you crack Mer's tail, though. Right. So a quick rundown. What we've been doing today is weeding. Yes, Quite a bit of right. weeding. When I say we, I mean me. <laughs> uh, no, it's me, that. All me, this. Look at that. Not a, not a weed in sight. Stay tuned next week for a full uh, bed of glorious weeds, because that's what'll happen. Well, there's not a weed in sight. They've all been weeded down to the root and below the root level. In there, with the cabbages. Actually, they're not cabbages, they're cauliflowers. These are cauliflowers, and these are um, purple sprouting broccoli. And one of the purple sprouting bro broccoli has sprouted a purple sprout. Which I'll show you. I'll show you all right now, boys and girls, of all ages. Shut up, you. Right, purple sprout in broccoli. Here he is, coming through, little purple sprouter. <laughs> now, when he gets about yeah, yeah, be a nice thing on that. And I think you're, you're supposed to top them out, but I'll do some research on that, having never grown it before. If anybody's got any tips, hints, and suggestions about broccoli, give us a shout. Now, I'm finishing off with putting the netting on the uh, on the gap here as well tonight because something's been getting in and having a nibble if you can see on that I've done the leaf check and I can't see any eggs of the cabbage whites or whatever but some little bugs have been in there and they've been having, having the tea there's the onions back there uh, yeah so that's bed one uno bed two again weeded fully weeded and that's got the red cabbage, the uh, the standard cabbage, the spinach. That's all in there. We've been taking a few bits out. We've been taking some of the spinach out and uh, giving it away, basically. We can't eat it fast enough, the amount that we're, we're growing at the minute. We just can't eat it fast enough. What's it been like, that, sa that uh, salad and stuff that you've had, uh, Mother Earth? Well, I had some lettuce at dinner time. That was good. Since of you, Mother Earth, here she is. Pak chai was all right. The what was all right? Pak chai. You're like Marlon Brando in his garden at the end. <laughs> With grandkids who he's picking there, was it was it he's picking like olives or something, isn't he? Um Pak Choi. What else have I had? Oh rhubarb's alright, but it needs plenty of sweetener in. Yeah. I had some of that after my dinner today. With custard. With custard. <laughs> um what else have I had? Did you have any spinach? No, I didn't have spinach. No, you didn't have oh, spinach, um, did you? 
Swiss chard, yeah. Swiss chard, yeah, that's, that's right. That's finished, isn't it? That's finished now, the Swiss chard. So, it's right. I'm waiting for. Toms, yeah, there'll be a bit, My yeah. potatoes are nearly ready at all. We'll have a quick, yeah, we'll have a quick check on the Toms. Could have done with a bigger bucket, I'd have probably got more. Mm. I've got these big buckets here, which I planted last night, if you caught last night's last episode. Um, but here's the beetroot that's coming along strongly in here. I like beetroot. That's been uh, weeded as well. You can make beetroot bur burgers. Beetroot burgers? Yeah. I bet they taste bonny. Last week, beetroot burgers. Hmm? We should try them if you get enough beetroots. Mm. Don't know you make them like, but... When these are a little bit bigger than golf ball size, I'm going to take these up. Yeah, don't let them go water. No. Right, onions. Oh, look at that Merce tail there. How's he escaped? The pogrom. I must have had me back to him. Right, he'll be coming out shortly. Um, this bed's not been done. Uh, but it's not too bad, that one. I'm going to do that one through the week. That's the long one, that. That's the big 12-footer. But there's not a, there's not a lot of weed in that. that the stuff that looks like grass down there. It's um, Welsh onion, that. And then the other, all the onions at the side of it. And uh, so in here, this has been pulled. Mrs. Ooh, uh, red lettuce. I forget what it's called. What's that red lettuce called? Rosetta or something like that. Radicio. A cut and come again. Which we're just cutting and eating as it's coming. Look at these poor spinaches. They're going in tonight. And the extra peas. And, um, yeah, normal lettuce down there. We've been taking quite a lot of that, eating it ourselves and giving it away. I've uh, began to weed this, but not completed the weeding process. In the king of all beds at the top. Um, and we've took some more stuff out of there. We took a couple more of the pak chai cabbages out there today. That's a raspberry, little raspberry that's uh, volunteered itself to come up. Yeah, this is starting to bolt, boys and girls. When it starts to bolt and go to seed, that's when you want to get, get it. But if you look at that, you can tell it's part of the brassica family because of that central flower that's coming in the middle there. And believe it or not, cauliflower is the same thing. Broccoli is the same. And it's the actual central flowering bit. Yeah? That's a massive pak choy, if you can see it through there. Okay. All the rest of it, the spinach that's in there. The dew are watering. They're going to be watered before I leave tonight. Um, we just keep chopping and chopping at this, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Although it has reduced. We, we were savage with it the other day, and I think four or five people had uh, about eight or nine stalks off that. So we'll let that rest for a little bit. But we need a path coming through that. I might move that to the back. Everybody else on the plot seems to have the uh, rhubarb right at the back. So I think we might do that as well. And this is the one that hasn't been weeded. And if you look at that, that's what it looks like when it hasn't been weeded. All that sort of um, growth in between the edibles that we've planted are all weeds. So that's going to be the last job tonight to actually clear that out and weed that. Now that bed where there's tons and tons of weeds in, which we haven't planted anything in, is this one. And that's all been thoroughly weeded by my good self. And I climbed inside that and took everything out of it. And that's going to be used for the leeks and uh, I'm going to put about four or five different vegetables inside there. Lift these up. Because this is going to be netted up as well. I don't know whether I'll be able to do it tonight because I have got some work that I've got to catch up on which I didn't manage to do on Friday because I finished on time on Friday instead of doing extra daft hours. I finished on time, but I did promise Gary, my gaffer, that I'd get this work done before he came back. Now, the cheeky monkey said uh, he'd be back on Wednesday, but he's not. He's cancelled his annual leave, so he's going to be back on Tuesday, trying to catch me out. I'll get up earlier than that, Gazza, because I'm going to have to do it tonight. I'm going to do about four or five hours on it tonight. Because it is hectic at work and um, things have got to be done. It pays the bills, does work. I'm not retired. I'm going to have to get that sorted out. Because I do like my job. Uh, but obviously it detracts from the uh, the true purpose in life, which is to grow organic vegetables. Uh, so uh, 
There you go. And uh, the fruiting area is here. What's happened here, Mother? What's happened here? No, here. We Have you took the top off this? Why? Right, get another bag. All the muggies will be all over that. That is comfrey inside there. Probably does need a little bit more water, but look at all these green bottles now coming for it. It stinks to high heaven. Oh, I tell you, can't get the staff these days. I'll sort that out, Mum. Right, so we'll top that off and put another plastic bag over that. But what you do with comfrey is, you get the comfrey. And you pull about seven or eight leaves off or whatever, chuck it in there, weight it down with a brick, and then cover it, and it gives you your plant feed. Actually, needs some more water in there, I suppose, now, doesn't it? Um, which we will do. We'll do that. And I'll show you what the score is with that. You cover it so no more rainwater gets into it. Um, so yeah, we'll do. Well, I've got, I've got you. I'm gonna do that now. Sorry. So these are half liters. So I'm gonna put about another uh, three or four liters in this. It does stink. That's why all the green bottles around it. You think it's something rotting to death. Um, but you have got to keep it covered. And as it rots down, it doesn't take long. It takes about a week to rot down. And then you've got plant food, which is better than the tomato food that you buy from the shops. You don't need much of that. We'll do a little bit of a, um, a catch-up on that, actually, and let you know the entire script about comfrey feed. But that's what I'm going to be using for me tomatoes. In the end... Oh, cover, I keep covering up with me, but if I just, I'm sorry. It's a little in my left hand, isn't it? Just eyes are James, I? What is that? Anybody who likes bubbles and effects, look at that. In HD. It's cool, isn't it? Alright, that should be sufficient. I'm gonna cover that up now. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, that'll work. Just to keep the majority of it off. Yeah, and, uh, and there we go. Yeah, leave that for the few days, let it rot down all that comfrey, and then you can use just a solution of it, just like a capful, same as you would with the um, tomato feed. Put it in with about five litres of, of your water, or if you put one in them, ten, put a couple of capfuls in one of them, uh, 10 litres. Is it? I will do a proper rundown on it, and uh, then you can feed all your uh, all your toms. The berries are looking fantastic at the moment. Look at these, absolutely gorgeous. And they are, we believe, all red current when they turn red. And I think one of them has actually started. There's one. He started to turn. Okay. And we've got the goose gogs. Goose gogs are on. Nice little pretty goose gogs coming. Or are they? They might not be goose gogs. What are they? We'll find out shortly. Um, Black Currant Hybrid Jostaberry. I think they might be the same thing, actually. Let's have a take. Uh, have a little. Uh, yeah, Jostaberry. Jostaberry. <coughs> goose gog. A red goose gog. They're getting goose gogs on them. Well, these are proper prolific. Look at those beauties. Let's hope that they all turn into nice red berries. But let's hope they don't turn into nice red berries before I get the fruit cage on, which I'm not sure whether I've got to get permission to do. And the uh, the Council of Elders sits every uh, third week, I think, of the month. Every third Wednesday of the month. So we'll see what the uh, the elders will uh, will make of that suggestion. Because I've got to get approval for getting the patio done down at the side of the tiki hut as well. Okay. And that's where we're at. I've got a little sunflower as well that I'm going to put out tonight. But I hope, you, oh, I hope you've all had a fantastic bank holiday weekend. Um, I've not seen enough of the kids really this weekend, but they've been out playing and Mother Earth's been looking after them and all that. 
they've gone up seeing the Nana this afternoon with Mummy Farmer. Look at that, that's how it works, that netting. You see that fluffy stuff there? Sugar stealers, dandelion seeds. It's keeping them out, which is exactly what we want because we don't want any more weeds to pull, do we, boys and girls? All right, thanks very much for tuning in. This is the Little Farmer's Farm with Big Daddy Farmer signing out once again. Take care of yourselves and keep on growing.